Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. <laughs> this is a random read, which is timeless. Um, today we have a color right off the bat, and, and today's color is blue. It's the color of communication, right? The fifth chakra, throat chakra, self-expression, expression of truth, right? Um just communications, you know, and in a perfect form or, or pattern type of, you know, creativity, you know what I'm saying? All right. <clears throat> um, another thing is, is when I was, I wanted to use the tarot of dreams right off the bat, okay? And then I saw a deck down below and I'll, I was trying to reach it and I thought I had it, but when I had it, it was this. This is the everyday witch tarot. So, because this is the one that came out, this is the one I'm going to use to clarify, okay? It's not going to be a card amount, see? Uh, and I have these. I, I thought about these, so I grabbed them. And then, of course, we have the soul's journey, right? All right. So, let's just go ahead and get started. <clears throat> I'm just going to put these to the side a little bit. They're all, you know, I, I should have done that in the beginning. All right. Oh! And we have the dice here. I keep forgetting to put it up. So, you know, I guess it's doing a good job for some reason. I don't know. Good for the story, right? All right. So we have the number four starting out here. Life path number four. Something could happen on the fourth day of the month. Uh, you could be born on the fourth, right? Uh, fourth of July. That could be significant. Uh, also, something could happen in uh, four hours, four, four days, four weeks, four months. Um, yeah, might resonate with someone, right? Uh, let's do it one more time. The number five. Didn't we have this kind of role before? <laughs> the number five, and that applies with all the stuff I just mentioned. You could have been born on the fifth. Cinco de Mayo. That's coming up. Also, um, what else? Life path number. Something could happen in five hours, five days, five weeks. I don't know about five months. It's kind of pushing it there. But, you know, five could be significant. It's also the number of change, you guys, right? So there could be some changes going on. So, you know, we can keep that in mind. Okay. So here's the picture cards. Let's go ahead and start out with these. These are all pre-shuffled. Wow. <laughs> we got a big chunk right off the bat, right? Okay. That's good. <clears throat> All right, so next we have, what is this? Oh, okay. This could be some different things, right? This could be like somebody's like, oh, my God. Like somebody just found out some news. Somebody here could be feeling embarrassed or guilty or something. Somebody here could be at a therapist's office really trying hard to express or speak to the therapist, but this is the reaction when they're trying to, you know what I'm saying? So somebody may be actually trying to work on their emotions, something like that. I don't know. That never has come up with that. But I see the chair there. That's why. And it feels like, you know, maybe it's a therapist's office, even though I haven't been in a therapist's office as a chair like that. All right, we have uh, the statue, right? This is about history. This is about, you know, fine art. Somebody could be into that kind of stuff. Somebody could be an artist here. Uh, somebody could be going to a museum uh, pretty soon here. I know I am. I like to check those out sometimes when I'm going from different town to town. You know? What's this? Hotel. Okay, so you might stay in a hotel, you know? There are alternatives, though, you guys, just just to put it out there. On my travels, I've seen many people just in their cars and they have these cool ass tents. They have the whole setup just with the car, you know, and, and you can save a lot of money. You can be out in nature. This all depends, too, on what state you're in, you know, depending on the time that you decide to, go. you know, I, I'm telling you, I've been on the road for two years and I went to the hotel uh, for two nights. It was in Roswell, New Mexico. I, I got it for my birthday. I thought I'd treat myself. I couldn't wait to get back on into my trailer. Yeah. 
you know, it's such an experience. So j- just putting that out there. All right. If you guys are curious about what I'm doing and all my shenanigans, you can click the drop down and I, I pretty much show my whole life on a, another channel. So, you know, if you want, it's kind of boring. I don't know. It all depends on <laughs> what excites you. All right. We have the mountains. You see, and this is an example of cool places that you can go. But the the thing is, is I see snow up here. So you might want to wait. It might be cold right now. I'm in Texas. It's cold right here. (laughs) It's really cold here, but it's nice, you know, and I've, I have prepared myself and the, the dogs for it. You know, they got jackets and sweaters and we got heat. You know what I mean? You got to prepare. That's just the main thing. Yeah, there could be some cloudy uh, skies coming ahead. But you know what this also reminds me of? This is also reminds me of, and I've always used it before. I was kind of talking about weather now. And yeah, the weather could be looking like this. But this card also represents somebody not being clear on something. You know, uh, cloudy skies. Where's the sun, right? Somebody is not clear on a certain situation that's going on. Okay, so that's another one. Okay, wow, this is already really interesting. Um, And then here, this is somebody, you know, might have a motorcycle. Uh, Somebody may be coming to see somebody and bring in their motorcycle, you know, just, you know, I don't know about how this guy is dressed. Make sure you have all your safety stuff on. I mean... I have a friend out there and he's a motorcycle rider and he wears the whole getup, you know, the helmet, the suit, you know, and like, I, 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 you know, and it's not, it's not the motorcycle riders to be careful of. It's, it's the people around them. They don't see you, you know, I always try to pay attention to that on the road. So maybe this is a sign for others also. Pay attention to the motorcycle riders around you. This is somebody's father or uncle or brother or sister or mother even. Yeah, come on now. Be careful. Everybody, you know, we need to watch everybody. We need to take care of each other. Okay. Best we can, even if it's something like that. You know what I'm saying? All right. So this right here is... um, the uh the tarot of dreams <laughs> i couldn't think of it uh these are pre-shuffled so we're gonna go ahead and see what is gonna come out for these uh, what kind of story that we can you know come up with let me get three stories well, let me get uh, three stories let me get three cards i mean maybe i will get three stories who knows you know what i've been thinking about doing pick a pick a card so look out for that if you guys are interested in that because i kind of like the interactive you know all right so the first card that came out is the knight of wands somebody could be dealing with someone like this or this could be your energy somebody who's very passionate very in and out though right that's a messenger you can't be mad at the messenger for coming to deliver the message and leaving you can't expect any messenger to stick around right i'm just saying you can't be mad at them because that is their role to come and give a message they're not there to stay all right let me get two more cards here. I wonder why it's so hard to get the next two cards out. Maybe I needed to say that. Okay, there's one. Let's not look yet. Let's try to get that third card. Okay. We're jamming. What you wah wah wah. That's what song's on. <laughs> I don't know. So I don't know if you guys can hear the music. It's outside, so I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> you see what's at the bottom of the deck, right? Here, let me scoot this up a little bit. Okay. Look at that. It's the Nine of Swords. Look at her. She looks like, oh, shit, she's scared. This is uh, Pisces right here. Sorry, Gemini, Gemini. I don't know why I keep mixing Pisces and Gemini symbols up. They look similar to me. I don't know. Anyways, this is Pi- uh, Gemini. So somebody here could be feeling very nervous at night. But you know what? I'm getting a so st- a story with this card right now. Hmm. Okay, look. 
somebody is trying to pull some creepiness in the nighttime. Somebody here may have heard about it, and now they're all freaking scared and nervous, like, like, oh, somebody put a spell. Okay, let me stop everything for a second. All right. If you believe in that stuff, it's going to happen to you. It's like you manifesting weird stuff into your life. That's you doing that. If you accept whatever you, you know, that people are doing this, or then, you know, you're going to have all kinds of bad luck things happen to you all over. And then what are you going to accuse it on? You're going to accuse it on, oh, I know they're doing black magic on me or some kind of ridiculousness. No, everything has a logical explanation for it. So when the alternator on your car goes out, like at the wrong time for you, you think that's black magic? No, that's regular car maintenance you need done, right? These are my dogs bringing your attention to this, what I'm telling you. I'm going to tell you guys, a long time ago, I was tripping on that stuff. I never really believed in that, but then because I didn't know about it and it was brought to my attention, I was like, oh, you know what I mean? And so I went to go talk to some lady and she, and she had a business and she had like a, a spiritual business. She was selling spiritual things and soaps and crystals and just a lot of the books, you know what I mean? And she was a doctor, as a matter of fact, like a psychologist even. And she, I bought one of her books. It's like a chakra workbook. I haven't done it yet, even though I've had it for years now. <laughs> I've, I've read it and gone through a couple things. I will get to it. But I was having a serious, I wanted to have a serious talk with her, right? And because she was a person of this kind of store, and I pulled her to the side, I said, look, I feel like somebody is pulling some black magic. And, and she said, come over here for a second. She pulled me to the corner. And she was talking to me just like I'm talking to you guys. She's like, that stuff is ridiculous. She's like, if you believe it, you can manifest that into your life. And that's just kind of like being a hypochondriac, thinking that you're sick and all of a sudden you're sick. We, our minds are so strong. Our minds control how we feel and the, the makeup, the genetics and all this stuff in our body is working and it's all in conjunction with our mind, right? When you think positive things, you think good things, they all happen to you. So who else, somebody here might be feeling because somebody told them about black magic or some shit like that. And now you're all scared. I'm going to tell you, it's, that shit is no, it's not real. It's all in your head. And the only magic in this world is what's inside you and what you can bring out to show others. Yes, you understand this, right? Yeah, come on now, everybody. Whoever's watching this and was resonating with that. No, I love you guys though. Okay. All right. <clears throat> we have the Knight of Wands right here in and out energy, right? Somebody wants to tell somebody something. It's a, it's a very passionate message. Now it doesn't necessarily mean passion as in like sexual. Pa it, it could also be like, I have the greatest idea, right? Like a business idea. Somebody could be passionate about, I just got another thought for this. Somebody could be worried about something in their own personal life. Not black magic-y stuff. That's another thing, though. Don't disregard that. If you're one of those people that are all into that, don't disregard that. You can, you can, you know, stop all that by say, by actually just telling yourself that shit is not real. If that shit was real... And that kind of magic was real. We'd have all kinds of lottery winners all over the place. Come on now. You guys know. Come on. All right. I don't know. I, I just, I feel like I have to say it like that. Anyways, somebody could be worried about something. Like they want to do something. Like they're trying to do something. Right. And they're not sure if it's going to work. I'm not talking about magic-y stuff. I'm talking about like a business idea or something like that. 
somebody has some idea or somebody is thinking, how can I do this? You know, how can I increase my income or how can I just whatever? You know what I'm saying? Somebody is thinking about something. Somebody also, uh, you know, maybe getting their own ideas. If this is you that's in and out, but you're not a player, you're not anything like that. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? This could be you, like you have messages that come in and out. Messages as in ideas, right? You you go to walk in your dog or your dogs or whatever, take a walk in the park. And all of a sudden you have these ideas, you know, and you're like, yes, you know. So that could be something that someone's passionate about, but also worried at the same time. Like, can I do it? Will I be able to do it? You know what I'm saying? What will people think of the idea? Will they think it's dumb? You know, stuff like that. All right. And see, we have the devil here. Now, this is about toxic energy, right? And this is what I mean. This is, you know, if you're not all on dope or high and drunk or anything like that, okay, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. But in this story, I'm thinking that's what's going on here. Somebody is telling themselves or somebody out there is trying to control another person by telling them stuff that just is not, that shit ain't right. That shit ain't true possibly scaring them, tripping them out. Oh, I feel like that. <laughs> and I normally don't get that for the devil. Either. This, this reading, I'm getting all brand new, I, new thoughts, you know, I feel like maybe I got some extra gifties being out here in nature. You can obtain gifts from nature. You sure can. So somebody here, I feel like they're, you know, they're in their head. They're keeping themselves. Somebody is keeping someone trapped, making them believe all this craziness. They're trying to make this person crazy. They're trying to make some, somebody here is trying to make someone go to the loony bin, swear. People around them are probably calling them crazy and all that stuff too. But somebody is purposely hurting or manipulating or doing something mental games you know with someone jeez wow and the song i've been here before and ain't gonna work no more right i think that's more chiba i don't know if you guys know who that is but i think i've been here before and it ain't gonna work no more so we have a king of cups now in the end He's in the upright, right on, okay? Somebody may real is, is coming to some sort of realization that somebody has been feeding them or telling them all kind of lies or tripping them out, right? Say so they could have even heard, they heard it through the grapevine. Mm -hmm. Somebody may have heard it through the grapevine and then caused some sort of, you know, stress on themselves, Right? Whatever they heard about probably don't even know what's going on, right? But now, uh, in the end here, I feel like somebody's going to come back with, uh, you know, better emotions. Somebody may have gone to some sort of therapy for that. You see this guy? You see him? So that's, you know, that's what I'm feeling here. Cancer Pisces Scorpio could have that in your chart, or you could be dealing with someone who has that somewhere in their chart. You know, it really doesn't matter about the signs, but uh, because when we finish, by the time we're done with the reading, all the signs are here. You know what I mean? It don't matter. So, um, but yeah, so let's grab, you know, because these wanted to show up. I mean, so let's see what's going on with these. These are the uh, everyday uh, witch. see what's going on these are all pre-shuffled too tell me about this knight of wands tell me about this knight of wands tell me about this knight of wands please tell me about this knight of wands One more card, please, for the Knight of Wands. Now, because it's not cardamancy, these are not the same definitions, okay? I just wanted to let you guys know that in case you are following the cardamancy, okay? <clears throat> you have to stick with the tarot and you have to stick with the cardamancy as two separate, okay? 
All right, so let's see what we got here. You'll still get, you could still get the same cards. It's just slightly different definitions, okay? All right. We have the Eight of Wands. This is somebody who is trying to create some sort of stability, right? Somebody's working. So somebody here in this energy, in this story, is not really focused on anything except for, you know, whatever they're doing. Look, she's busy, man. She ain't got time. She's holding the cat too. She doesn't have time to be worried about anything around her. So this is a message that may come into her, whoever she is. Eight of wands. Okay. Seven, so she's going to find out that somebody has been deceptive and underhanded. Right? Right? So, or this is the message that's coming in, right? Now, we don't know if it's true, remember? Because this could be somebody spreading a rumor. That's what I'm hearing now, rumors. So she is busy conducting her, her life and a message comes in about somebody has deceived you. Somebody did something wrong to you. And then that kind of disturbs her flow of whatever she's got going on. Somebody might be doing this on purpose. Look, Ten of Swords. I knew it. So somebody here, in regards to this message, somebody's trying to come in and tell somebody about all, some all kind of bullshit that they heard just to rile feathers. You know? You know... Like a friend of mine told me before, I don't like to talk about people if they're not around. Okay? So, that might be something you might want to say to somebody if they come talking to you about someone else. Say, I don't like to talk about people when they're not around. This is true and this is right. Because people, they, that's how, it, how, how rumors and gossip starts from somebody talking some bullshit. I just saw two, 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 by the way. All right. Now we're going to the devil. Oh, let me see what was at the bottom of the deck. Look, the chariot. Somebody's going to be leaving a situation or it could even be just this knight of wands who came in to talk whatever. And then they're going to bail. Anyways, they don't know which way to go. Maybe they're being turned down and now they don't know which way to go because they were planning on being with someone. Oh, what kind of story is that? <laughs> There's another. Lots of stories here, you guys. Okay. Lots of stories here for this uh, storybook reading. All right, we got the devil. I want to know about what, you know... I feel like somebody's talking shit so they can have somebody trapped or in their head or what's all this? There's two cards. Knight of Swords. Okay. If I'm the messenger, that's the truth. Somebody may be trying to judgment. Look, and you know what? It's so crazy because the other day I was, you know, looking up some stuff and something came up in the feed that I was looking for at and it was about the Pied Piper. Remember the Pied Piper story? It was a guy who wanted to help a town get rid of the rats. So he he was he told these people, I'll get rid of the rats and then you can pay me after whatever, right? So he got rid of all the rats and he came back and the people didn't pay him. They burned him. So what did he do? He started playing his flute again. And he lured all the children out of the town. And, you know, that was the end. They never saw those children again. In the real story, it's more gruesome. I'm just trying to be quick and easy about it. So I feel like somebody here, somebody needs to make judgment on a situation of somebody really talking some stuff. Right? And if I'm the one telling you this, that's what's happening. Somebody's really talking some stuff about you. Somebody might even hear, hey, I heard this person talking about you. And, uh, and, and you know, 
if you're in close contact with that person, whatever, you can just easily call them up and say, hey, look, so-and-so came to me and said you were saying things about me. Is that true? People are so afraid to do that. Why? Why not? People are so afraid to find out, to go and find out the truth. Anyways, somebody's going to have to, you know, somebody's coming with the truth and they're saying, look, somebody's saying this and the other and they're doing that possibly to keep you trapped. Let me get one more card. I feel like they're doing that. They're spitting a lot of, you know, game or some sort of ma manipulation of some sort. It's not nice, though. It's not nice, whatever is going on here. This is not a happy love. <laughs> you know, it, it's really not. This is about people talking shit, trying to hold people back, gossiping, tripping people out, making people emotionally, pro emotional problems. Look, six of cups. This is why. This is why. You see that? Somebody's talking a lot of shit about someone because they found out possibly that somebody loves that person. So they don't want that person to go there. So they're just, you know, and look, let's get together and everything's going to be all right. That's what song is playing outside. So whoever here, somebody might be saying stuff like, oh, that person's bad. Don't get with them. Da -da 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 -da. They're, they're evil or they're they're a thief or whatever, some sort of manipulative action, something to try to hold someone back from their true calling, whatever they're going towards, right? Something they love, something that, you know, this is the Six of Cups. It's like the, the, the lovers, right? The reminiscing about the past, about the lovers in the past, right? And this is what somebody, this is what somebody could have been doing for a long time, and every time this person brings them up or thinks about them, here comes old devil hag lady up here, whoever she is. Looks like a, a man woman. I don't know. But here comes that person talking shit to deter someone from making the proper judgment. Right? To deter them from making the proper judgment. You see that? Look at the kitty following the butterfly. So, I don't know, you guys. In this story, we have a manipulative individual trying to control somebody. Nine of Wands. Somebody may be trying to fight for their life, trying to get away, man. Somebody is realizing that somebody here is the devil. You're the devil, you know? <laughs> kind of like what people say about tarot readers. <laughs> But, you know, I don't know. This is just, it's cards, man. It's cards. Come on now. Anyways, I feel like somebody is, is fighting, is fighting for their, their, their life or, or, you know, the truth or something after dealing with this devil. And I think it might be this King of Cups. King of Cups dealing with, who did we see over there? Shoot, I forgot. I already forgot. Dealing with that person over there. All right. Queen of somebody. Was it? <laughs> I already forgot, you guys. I When I do the readings, I, you know, if I don't remember right then and there, I have to watch it over because I don't even remember, you know. Anyways, let's, let's just talk about the King of Cups. Let's talk about the King of Cups and, and that person he was dealing with over there. You know, this, it was a lady, right? Yeah, it was a lady. King of Cups. Tell us about this King of Cups. I mean, it looks like he's, you know, he might be the one trying to part from this. Yeah, he, in the end, he becomes uh, emotionally stable, right? Um, feeling more uh, confident. What else do I see here? Something about honesty. Right. And this person, too. Oh, yeah. We were talking about this lady over here. Remember? Look, she's showing up on his side. But you know what? He might also be whoever this is. He might also be trying to very busy now. After learning about this, you know, maybe possibly trying to get this person's stability together because maybe this is family members. 
and, and maybe they want to save up and move out or I don't know. They got to get some sort of security going if that's the case. If they want to separate themselves from, they, you know what? They might be trying to save us so they can get a hotel to get the hell out of there. Listen, if somebody here is resonating with that King of Cups, like I told you, you can go, you can go to the Walmart or a sports academy, a big five, whatever, and you can get a tent, right? You can, I'm telling you, anyways, it's fun. You can save money. If you're trying to get away from something that's toxic and you really need to hit the high trail, hey, there's nothing wrong with that. And there's so many places you can go and camp out for free and enjoy yourself. And plus, you'll have plenty of time to think about what has transcribed up until this point in your life. You know, help yourself, you know, get it together and feel all right. Right. Mm hmm. Because somebody here is really trying to stir up some stability here right now. Uh, look, Seven of Swords. That's the same one we got over here. So somebody told somebody some shit about this. He was the one that was told this stuff by whoever devil person is. I can't freaking believe this. These were the first two cards that came over there. Am I lying or am I hallucinating? You guys, I'm going to have to look back. I'm tripping. All right, let me get one more card. <laughs> let me get one more card here because that's a, that's a freaking trip. We already passed this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Ace of Cups. Somebody has new love. He Somebody loves somebody. He's been holding this cup for somebody. Somebody here is going to free themselves from something here. You see? Yeah. You know, lend some praise to the Lord. You will feel all right. I'm telling you. This person might be coming emotionally stable. More, you know, this per look is almost like a halo of magical goodness above this person's head, right? This person could be in that. This person could be realizing love is overflowing for someone. And and it's only growing more every day because look at the water's dripping out of there and what's dripping out. The, the kitty's drinking the water and the plants are growing. Do you see that? Yeah. That's kind of nice. So these two, there was a lady, she's trying to create stability. Or, or you know what? You know what, you guys? I, you know what it is? He's the one that receives the message. That's what it is, you guys. He's the one that receives a message, an outside source, that about this deception. He's the one trying to get his things together. He receives this message. Okay, that's why these two came out, because these wanted to clarify that we are talking about this King of Cups. Whoever this devil person is telling them things and being evil, I don't know who that is. Y'all got to figure out who that is in your life. This could be a family member, friends, whatever. This person is in love somewhere. Somewhere this person is holding a cup that's overflowing for someone. And they want growth. They really want growth. And they found out who was doing all this shit behind their back. Seven of swords, deceiving, deception backstabbing energy that's right over here we got the ten of swords that's where this person finds out and they feel backstabbed about this that's what's happening so after this person deals with this shit over here they continue with creating that stability understanding backstabbing energy and who did it they know now and they are going after whatever it is that their cups are overflowing for wow wow you know this kind of thing could have had somebody all tripping all night tripping out oh that person's doing this and that person's doing that so somebody could have just been receiving messages about somebody from some you know what every time i hear that shit on, on uh when i hear a tarot reading they say oh somebody there could be spies the only thing I can think about anybody else being a spy for somebody is because somebody's in jail or they're in prison 
or they're in lockdown and there's no use of phones or television. That is the only reason why I can think of why somebody would have to spy on another person for someone. Why can't they just do it themselves? The phone is right there. Pick up the phone and type in someone's name. You can, you know, you can do all. So that would be the only reason I think that. I don't think that here. I think somebody here is doing their own spying, if they're doing anything at all. I think somebody didn't really have to do spying. I think somebody came in and snitched, ratted out the devil and said, look, the devil is telling you all this kind of shit because they don't want you to be happy. They don't want this. They don't want that. They could have even heard of this from the therapist. And that's why this person trusts them. Because maybe this person is like, you know, my mom, man, she gets involved, but, but it can't be my mom because I love my mom. She would never do that to me. Well, guess what? You know, not all moms are like that. Okay. It could be aunt. It could be uncle. It could be anybody in the family. It could be a best friend. You know, maybe you never thought that this friend would ever deceive you, whatever. It's somebody that someone had trust in, right? That's what it is. And, and, and that's why, you know, it was really hard for someone to possibly, you know, yeah. So what was at the bottom of the deck here? Dude, the six of cups again. So yeah, this person is going towards someone from the past that this evil person has been talking shit to them about the whole time, the whole time. That's where this King of Cups is going. He has realized something. He's working on it. He's working on it. He's not going there. We don't know if he's going now, but in this story, he is working on getting in touch with his one true love. <clears throat> right? Now, let's pull, since we know about this person, because I told you, I don't really always know how the reading is going to go. <clears throat> I want to pull... I want to pull uh, three cards for the one that this person love is loving, wanting to go towards. We saw the chariot already. We did see the chariot. <clears throat> Tell me about this the one that this king of cups wants to go towards. Tell me who this king of cups wants to go towards. <clears throat> me this king of cups wants to go towards oh i'm sorry the reading is already getting long you guys i'm sorry i'll try to be as quick as i can <clears throat> i can't sit through a whole reading so i'm only assuming that you guys can't either oh, no, no. tell me about who this king of cups is uh feeling love for or whose cup is overflowing for <clears throat> what's their story the person that the King of Cups love is overflowing for. What is their story? What is their story? What is their story? Okay. At the bottom of the deck, Ten of Cups, right? We don't know if it's upright or reverse, number one. And, you know, it hasn't happened yet, but this is something that's on their mind. Look, Pisces. Remember I told you guys I get confused between Pisces and Gemini? So this one is Pisces. Isn't that crazy? Is that not crazy? All right. <clears throat> We're going to put this up here so you guys could still see the King of Cups, right? Can you still see him? Not really. That's who we want to see because... This is the person in the story. Uh, I need to see the Ten of Cups. You guys don't need. So somebody here might be thinking about wanting to have family. Is focusing on family. Wants to have a family. Happy family. Happy home. That's what somebody here is wanting to focus on. Who doesn't focus on that, right? Five of Wands. This person uh, that the King of Cups is dealing with. Either this person is going through some sort of mental conflict fighting with themselves they could be fighting with others also the they could be a leo or have leo in their chart um now when you look at the five of wands you can think this person is fighting but these people are not even looking at each other these people are not even looking to hit each other i feel like this person could also be working with others 
working with others who have conflict. I don't know, something like that. It could be that, or it could be somebody with the inner conflict, um, trying to, you know, overcome that, or I don't know, something like that. We also have the nine of wands, okay? This person is a fighter, right? Uh, this person has realized a lot of things on whatever path they're on, right? On their journey, right? And this person has still got fight left in them. So we could be talking about an older individual, somebody who's been through a lot. <clears throat> But this person is also in hermit mode, right? They could also have Virgo in their chart. We have Sagittarius here too, by the way, okay? Um, but we have the hermit here. And this person, it appears that this person is, this is how they are. <laughs> like this. They're in hermit mode. They're in total contemplation. They like to be out in nature. They like to meditate. They like to, you know what I'm saying? This person is at peace with themselves. This person is trying to figure themselves out, figure out their life, figure out whatever. These are kind of nice cards, right? So let me grab. And so now we're explaining here. We're explaining here the type, the type of person that this King of Cups has feelings for now. So this person, you know, helps others, works with others, possibly. Very passionate could be. This person is a fighter and this person is a thinker. So this person could be pretty intelligent too, or a bit very smart, or maybe they're studious, or I don't know. They have a lot of uh, knowledge, street knowledge, life knowledge, whatever, right? I want to uh, shuffle these three times. Tell us about this person that this King of Cups energy, whose his cup is spilling over for this person, huh? I like the way this reading, the setup, I might do this again. All right. Tell me about uh, this person who's got Leo in their chart, possibly, and they're, who they're working with, or what are they doing? Is this their work? Four of Pentacles. Okay, this person is somebody who could be saving money, working hard to save money. What else? Okay, look, Queen of Wands. I told you guys, it's somebody with Leo in their chart. So we have a Queen of Wands here. This person's very passionate. She likes to save. Uh, she has some secrets, possibly. Holds something close to her chest. Hmm, I wonder what her secret's about. We also have a King of Swords here. All right. Now, if she could be dealing with this person, or this could be her energy. You know, being a boss. She could be a lady boss, right? One of those, what you see on the commercials or whatever. Um, or she, you know, and the King of Swords is pretty smart, but he can sometimes overthink. So if that's some energy she has, she might be an overthinker or she just could be dealing with that person. And that, yeah, look, Nine of Swords, that's her. Okay, so she's not dealing with the King of Swords. This is her energy. Because look, we have the Nine of Swords. Didn't he have the Nine of Swords too? So she is tripping out about something, too. Uh, she could actually be fighting with someone else, with others. Conflict with others. She could be having a conflict with others. Overthinking about the situation. Tripping out, can't sleep at night. And, and most likely, most likely, you guys... She doesn't tell anybody she's having this inner conflict. She's keep the chest locked tight. She doesn't tell anybody that this is some issues that she has. So her maybe her close friends and family don't know that they ha she has this internal struggle. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, see, when she's working with others, they can't tell or they don't know that she's feeling some certain type of way. So she is working with others. All right. I am not sure if it's conflict with others, though. It can be, but it doesn't have to be. I don't feel like it is. I feel like this person has an internal struggle that she's not expressing to anybody. Nine of Wands. Tell us about this Nine of Wands. Okay, Nine of Wands, come on. Knight of Swords. Okay, so... 
this person is staying strong for some reason. And the reason is because there's some message that comes into this individual, right? Did he not get that also about the devil? <sighs> this reading is crazy, you guys. She's going to receive a message. She's been trying to keep herself strong this whole time. She's been through a lot of shit, but still, is still standing strong, whoever she is. There's a message of truth coming into her that's going to enlighten her to a situation. Look, the sun card, card of Leo again. Your kiss is what I miss when I turn out the lights. Maybe that's the message she gets. That's a Hall and Oates song, right? I don't, I don't know what the name of the song is. I don't think I, that's just a line from it. <laughs> I don't know if that's the name of the song. Yeah, because your kiss is what I mean. I'm not going to sing. I don't sound good like that. Okay. <clears throat> Let me get a final card. Woo. Okay. It's, it's three. Let's just look. Let's just look. Okay. Look, the high priestess, she has sacred knowledge. She's in that energy. That's why when she's in line to this, you know, she's still just like, we're not saying she's a man. We're just looking at his demeanor. Look at just chilling right there on the steps. Like, you know what? I already know this shit. She's probably contemplating whether or not she should fight for it, whether she's going to go for it. Because she she's she's got some sacred knowledge. She needs to think for a second. Because she's single and abundant, right? Okay, it could be somebody here saying, oh, I love you. I want to be with you. I want to marry you. That's what's going on. That's the subject of her story. Ten of Cups. Remember we saw that? that it's not Ten of Cups with him. It's just Ten of Cups, period. Somebody is going, somebody is going to approach her somehow, some way. And she's going to feel like it's a burden. Oh, shit. So if this guy is coming towards her with a message of enlightenment to her that, oh, you're the one, I love you. I, she's going to start thinking, she's going to use her mind, brain and be like, I oh, don't know, man. I'm, I kind of, I kind of like how I'm chilling right here in Nine of Pentacles with my wine and my little slippers and my, my son chair outside. Shoot, that shit looks nice. <laughs> really she's like i don't know if i want to take on this burden with you and not carrying all your baggage and all that you know what i mean somebody's gonna be like that they're gonna give it some thought oh two of cups because somebody's coming to to confess their love but still i think you know what it's funny because when you if you're somebody that goes to another person i'm just saying example if you're somebody who goes to another person because you're keeping them on a string or on a tie or whatever, right? And, and you do that to them for a long time. All you're doing basically is teaching them to be independent. Yeah, yeah. So by the time this King of Cups comes around to this person, if it's somebody from his past that they've been in separation, not talking, whatever, whatever, and all of a sudden they show up, this person going to be like, ah, I kind of like to be by myself. I don't know if I could handle being with another person anymore right now you know what i mean somebody might be that way like oh i don't know back then i wanted it real bad but now it's like i don't know if i could handle another person around me you know what i mean so it's like it's like that it's like people they gotta grow on you you can't just jump and start you know what i'm saying so I, yeah oh no should have thought of that a long time ago before you made somebody or may, may, maybe thought that somebody was waiting for you. Eventually, Ten of Cups is going to happen for someone. I don't know for these two, though. I don't know. Tell me about this hermit. Tell me about this hermit. Tell me about this hermit, please. <clears throat> Tell me about this hermit. Tell me about this hermit. Whoa, whoa. Oh, and I just thought, let's see, we're going to be coming up on the mid month, right? And, um, on the, on the 15th, I'm going to check to see which zodiac signs, which two zodiac Zach sign, zodiac signs have the highest views. And then I'm going to, uh, give those two signs a big beefy read. 
big beefy reeds are like the size of these reeds, right? Not the little quick zodiac. No, you're going to get oracles, you know, all kinds, you know, that's what you're going to get. And it's just for the two highest viewed. So I don't know if you catch this and, you know, you might want to, I don't know, two of wands, the hermit. So somebody wants to talk to whoever is out there trying to be the hermit. It looks like that's what she's doing. She's trying to be the hermit. Somebody wants to talk to her or she may come up with the idea that I want to talk to somebody. This is about having a heated debate. The two of wands it's about communicating about something to take place. Okay. Let me get two final cards here for this lady or, you know, whoever this King of Cups partner is. Okay. Somebody may be feeling trapped. I need another card. I need another one. I need another one. I need another card, please. Final card, please. There it is. Gosh. <laughs> it's like pulling teeth. Queen of Cups in reverse. Uh... Yeah. She is not feeling very emotional for someone, whoever she is. She is, oh, she is, okay, look, because I specific, we were specifically talking about two separate people, and I'm specifically asking about who this King of Cups love is overflowing for, it's for his divine partner. This part person could have been in this person's life already. This could be like a one of those twin flamey things. I don't know. This person, this is a divine couple. Only problem is, is she's in the reverse here, right? She, I think what has happened because this person, you know, was influenced by people around them and they didn't, they weren't, they didn't stay together. They separated, you know, because yeah, they were, this person was influenced by the people around them and they believe those people's deception and, and that actually separated him from his real true divine partner. And, and now because this has happened though, this person has healed from that all this time has passed and she has healed from it but in regards to the king of cups she doesn't have those feelings for him anymore you know what i mean she doesn't uh she healed herself from this from feeling trapped that's what's happening she was trapped possibly in her head for a really long time but to be quite honest with you This this situation has rendered her emotionally disabled, though, which also means that this person is going to have a hard time trusting or finding new love as it is. But this person also is in hermit mode. So this person is actively healing. You know what I'm saying? Actively healing. Why? Because she eventually wants this. But because she, you know, was like that King of Swords we saw earlier, really thinks about stuff. She wants to have this in a healthy, non-toxic manner. She doesn't want to bring baggage in. She doesn't want to bring toxicity in. So what does she have to do? She has to go into hermit mode. She has to think. She has to contemplate. She might even be keeping herself tied down in that mode until she's in the upright. But for right now, towards this king of cups, she is not. She's not with it. She's she, That guy is not, no. <laughs> she's not very happy about the situation with that person. Look what's at the bottom of the deck. I told you. There he is again. So we're talking about the king and queen of cups. We're talking about a divine pair right here that are not together. The divine masculine, I guess, is what we will call him. He has been uh, manipulated for who knows how long by who knows who. 
Uh, this person has come to realization that this has been taking place. But in the meanwhile, a lot of time has passed and the person that he truly loved has already moved on. They've moved on, but they haven't quite moved on, moved on in terms of finding someone. They've moved on in terms of that they're healing and they're healing because they want happy family, happy home, happy marriage with someone, right? Because it was the King of Cups that actually hurt his divine counterpart. It happens. And it, and this person I think has chosen to use her free will to hear, heal from this and move forward with a happy family, happy home elsewhere. You know, that's a possibility. Those are some ways it could go. It doesn't, it doesn't mean the story will end up like that. But I also feel that at a distance, because look where I set the card. Oh my God. His little telescope, it's pointed at the Queen of Cups. He's watching in the background. He's watching her maybe on her social medias. Maybe if they live close, they drive by the house or something like that. You know? So I also have the Soul's Journey lesson cards. I want to get two cards out. One for him and one for her. Hey, I should have done a he, she reading, right? Maybe I'll plan on one of those too. I haven't done one of those in a long time. Those take really long time, though, you guys. So I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> I didn't want to do it that way. I wanted to split it. So let me do a quick shuffle. All right. One for her. And one for him. health. All right. For her, I will honor the vis physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So that's what she's up to right now. She's up to taking care of herself, self-love, probably eating better, exercising, uh, not taking, uh, uh, not taking, uh, any, um, joining of, I don't know why I can't find the right words right now. Um, but not taking any action and doing any kind of toxic activities like drinking, alcohol, drugs, whatever, crime, whatever. No, she's doing everything that she does that makes her feel good, that makes her soul feel good, that makes her body feel good, you know, healthy eating, all that stuff. So that's her. Let's see what this guy growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. OK, so, you know, after this has happened to him, though. Now he's ready for growth, okay? And that's good. The thing is, don't try to come in right now to her because she's still in the healing mode, right? And 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 if you and if you're king of cups energy, you still have to go through this card too, I bet. So, if anything, you're a step behind. So, this card could be, you know, finish your growth, expand your consciousness and awareness. And then do what she's doing. I will honor my physical vessel that enshrines my soul, which is, you know, taking care of your body. No drug, no alcohol, eating healthy, exercise, this and the other, right? That's what I'm just guessing right here. All right. That was a good ass reading. I don't know. Um, if it resonated, you guys, though, don't forget, subscribe, like, comment, and share. We can't help other people if we don't share the videos, right? Um yeah also 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 keep it true love energy happy friendly loving types we have nothing to fear as long as we stay calm and cheerful i'm mona 